Hi friends, today I'm going to be making chimaki for Japanese Children's Day. Chimaki is one of the most traditional sweet mochi wrapped in bamboo leaves, eaten only on Children's Day as well as kashua mochi. You might be thinking, how many kinds of mochi wrapped in leaves do we have? Well, I'm not sure. In Western Japan, where I live, it's more popular than kashua mochi because bamboo grows Western Japan. I'm going to show you two different kinds of chimaki today. One is the regular mochi dumpling and the other is translucent chimaki. First, we need bamboo leaves and igusa strings. Igusa is a material for Japanese tatami mattress. It also has a earthy comforting aroma. You can substitute it with the butcher's twine. Wash the bamboo leaves and strings and soak in water until used. Bamboo leaves add refreshing aroma and making it unique and it makes long lasting with its antibacterial effect. To make the mochi, add arrowroot powder, rice powder and sugar in a bowl, add water and mix well. This mochi should be really soft so the water ratio is a lot more than usual. So we need to cook it twice. Transfer to a pot and cook on medium heat until it becomes one lump. Drop the mochi mixture onto the cheesecloth lined steamer and cook for 15 minutes on medium high heat. Take it out onto working surface and knead until smooth for about a couple of minutes. and then shape into disc and cut into 5. Cut like you are cutting a cake in this way, so you can shape into a cone easily. Set aside. Wipe off the surface of the bamboo leaves and press it shiny side up, bend side out. And apply vegetable oils on one leaves to avoid sticking. Put the mochi dumplings in the center of oil applied bamboo leaves and put it on another bamboo leaf. Wrap around tightly and fold the openings. Tie the end with the strings. and wind up to the top. and tie a knot. And repeat the process for the rest of the dumplings. Steam it again for 5 minutes to put the aroma of bamboo leaves to the mochi. The next one is translucent chimaki. Put the arrowroot powder and sugar and water in a pot. Turn the heat to medium and cook until thickened. Constantly stir. When you start cuddling, vigorously stir until the mixture is thick and translucent. It's going to take a couple of minutes. When it became a translucent but bouncy mochi, transfer to an ice bath to cool it down. While still warm, wrap in bamboo leaves like we did for the mochi.
This is a bit difficult than the mochi because it's soft like cloud, but try to make it into a cone shape. Steam it for 5 minutes and allow them to give it a nice aroma to the mixture. And cool it down to the room temperature and that's it. Simple but delicious chimaki is done. I love chimaki so much because this is a once a year special kind of mochi. Unlike usual mochi, it has a melt in your mouth texture and the aroma from the bamboo leaves is so comforting. It has a kind of slippery texture and it makes so unique. Arrowroot starch has natural sweetness on its own and it makes mochi soft and it makes a melt in your mouth texture. You will be surprised when you taste the translucent chimaki. It has a bouncy texture but melt in your mouth right away. It's not easy to describe how it tastes like but it has a special sweetness and tastes like heaven. The recipe for the translucent chimaki is from one of my friend's grandparents. They used to run Japanese sweet shop in Kyoto. I cannot make it like them because it requires a special technique, so I need to practice more. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you will give it a try if you have any chance to get the bamboo leaves and igusa strings. Thanks for watching. <laughs>